Hello, everyone. I'm Morgan, the principal engineer of Newmaton Technology. Today, I will show you how to use Ethernet with Embed OS on Newmaker IoT M487 development board. Open Chrome browser and enter the URL id.embed.com to use the Embed Online compiler. After login, make sure that the Newmaker IoT M487 board already selected in the upper right corner. If not, please refer Newberton IoT tutorial series. Get started with Embed OS, which has a detailed description of how to add a board. Click the New on the left of the menu bar. A Create New Program window will be displayed. You can see that the platform has been set to Newmaker IoT M487. In the template, select Newmaker Ethernet TCP for this tutorial, then click OK. Now, you can see that the simple code has loaded on the page. The network default configuration is Ethernet, so we don't have to manually modify embed app.json file. The simple code automatically acquires IP address, connects to the web server, and displays the return message. Just click Compile to build the simple code. It is compiling. Please wait a moment. Then, you can see the last message is success after compile completed. The browser downloads the binary firmware file directly after a successful compiling. It will be saved in the default download folder or the folder based on your browser setting. In Chrome, you can click download file and select the show in folder. Connect the LAN cable in a network that does not require proxy setting. Then we connect the Newmaker IoT M487 USB port to your computer and make sure the board LED lights up. Let's back to the download folder where you can see the binary firmware file. Drag and drop the file to Newmaker MCU drive. You will see the copy progress dialog box. Please find the virtual COM port assigned for Newmaker IoT M487 in Device Manager. In the tutorial, the new link virtual COM port is COM6. Then, use your favorite terminal tool. Here, we use PuTTY. Open the COM6 port with 115,200 baud rate. No flow control, then open it. Press reset button on board to run again. You can see the connection message printed on terminal. It shows the board's IP address, sends a simple HTTP connection to server, and the result of return. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Welcome to subscribe to our channel. If you want to get more information, please contact us at sales support at newmaton.com.